Good morning. It is Friday morning. Derby Jack here. I've been watching some of the news, and um, lately they've been talking about how uh, AI, AI is really starting to grow. And now there's, you know, you got IBM that, you know, they, they're, they're supposed to be, uh, I guess, replacing human beings with, you know, their AI. But then they're starting, starting to say that AI is getting dangerous. They're, they they want to protect AI, protect the kids from AI. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, and it's growing. And and yet they sit there and they talk about that. But I'm sitting here thinking to myself, they said that, you know, even the guy who supposedly invented AI at some university, uh, the fundamentals of it, uh, he, he's even retiring and thinking that we should slow down a little bit. The thing of it is, is that they're not going to slow down. And they can talk about slowing down and, and, and holding the product up. But here's the thing. They, they want to make sure that AI is safe, you know, in, in all types of facets. The problem is, if you remember in the last several years, how many recalls on food? How many recalls on cars? How many recalls on products? How many recalls on this? How many recalls on that? Apparently, nobody's checking shit. So, in these companies, they, I don't think they hire. A matter of fact, I remember when we used to get vegetables in years ago at our restaurants, right? They would have those little stickers on the thing, you know, inspected by number 32 or something like that. They don't even have that no more. They don't have inspectors. They go through an AI process. Oh, it looks good, but whatever the computer would say, boom, 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 whatever. It radiates, it radiates to read, it, it goes through, it probably has a beam that radiates into the damn vegetables or the food, and then it moves on. So now the AI is now giving a little bit extra properties to the, you know. But here's the thing. They will not slow down the AI. They can talk about it all they want. This is a new toy. They love it. They they can they can they can they can have AI to replace people. And here's the thing, people. This is where you need to wake up. They want to replace you. You are no longer worthy of a job anymore. And and for the people, like I said, right now, many people, especially young people, aren't worthy to get a job. They don't have what it takes to be able to implement themselves into a position of, of work. Uh, young people don't have a clue what responsibility is. So now that you've dumbed down the society, at kids and adults alike, that's why you can implement your AI. Well, humans just don't have what it takes. We got to have artificial intelligence. So here's the thing. When they sit there and say, well, we're going to slow it down. Remember, they're lying out their ass. They ain't going to slow this down. This is their baby right now. And you know it's going to be ironic. It's sort of like the, uh, sort of like the uh, 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 Twilight Zone episode where you know the the old man ends up having to be killed because he's no longer he's obsolete, no longer valuable. And then the guy who told him that he comes in and he's no longer valuable. He's obsolete. Guess what, humanity? You're obsolete. That's right. I'm obsolete. You're obsolete unless you get hooked up to the grid. See, because AI can teach you. Do you know what this is all about? It is a replacement of the Holy Spirit. Let AI into your heart. Let AI into your body. And when you do, let AI into your body. Let AI, uh, uh, let AI teach you, you know? He, 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 he is more advanced than God is. So let AI come into your heart. Remember, they already are, they've already got a, an AI ministers and, and AI gods, and, and you know, so it's only a matter of time. God will be replaced with AI. Could you imagine going into a church and, and you have a screen behind a pulpit and, and a face pops out and it's an AI minister? Looks good. Sounds sweet and wonderful. But what is it going to come out of its AI mouth? What, what, kind of, what, what kind of lies or what kind of twisting of the word if it speaks to the word at all? Actually, I, I don't think that could ever happen because it seems like AI is a little too honest and they don't, they don't like that. But here's the thing. 
it's what is being programmed into it of why it thinks the way it thinks. If AI is to a point where it believes it's better than man, guess who put that thought in it? Mankind himself. Who invented it? Who crafted it? Who, I hate the word you say, you use the word, but created it, whatever. Who it designed the whole thing and whatever information they put in there is what is going to build the, the, the AI's brain, okay? You put in, you instill in it, and then it thinks on its own. So if you put a bunch of negatives into an AI brain, whatever you want to call it, D-Wave, whatever the shit, then here's the thing. What do you think is going to, where do you think its processes are going to take it? See, and I've seen in the pictures, that's why I get rid of them. I don't want to see any of the AI pictures and stuff, but I, what I've seen of them, they're dangerous because, because, because they, they give a, they give disillusions, and then when they do speak about God or show you pictures of God, everything's sort of scrambled. Because like AI and like humanity, without the Holy Spirit, AI can still not understand the truth and the spiritual implications of what God's Word is. It is no different than us in that respect because we're the ones putting it. But there is something added to it. And it is a spiritual presence. And it's a dark spiritual presence. So AI will be running off of the information being brought into it, being put into it, designed into it. And not only that, the spiritual presence, like in the culture, that's what's going to be involved. Could you imagine when the dark entity, see, Satan isn't quite done yet hooking us up and hooking himself up and us. His whole purpose is to replace himself with God in our hearts. Replacing himself, putting himself in front of God here on earth. This is his way, the only way he has. So when little toys like AI come out, Oh, I know the inventors don't like that. What do you mean a toy? This is the most advancement, the, the, the top of the line. But it's bullshit toys because you are all a bunch of bullshitters. So that's what it comes to. Money-making buttheads, you know. You, 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 all you want to do, and here's the thing. You know what gets me about all this? They wanted to populate the population, right? Kill off 90% of the good uh, of the good people of this world, right? And yet, and yet, and yet, and yet, they still want to sell their products. If you kill off 90% of the people, who are you going to sell your damn products to? See, stupid monkeys. And, and you, you don't even think about that, right? You know, everybody's letting the pharmaceutical companies go, go astray, go awry. Getting all these companies go astray, go awry. Letting the banks go astray, go awry. And yet, and yet, you know, what is actually accomplished for the good? Nothing. The whole country's falling apart. People are going crazy. I just seen a story here. Uh, a, 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 kid's, a, a, a kid's father got upset over the umpire who was 63, 70 years old, a, a, a Vietnam, or a vet, a veteran, I mean, and, 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 and really, he was the umpire. He didn't like that his, his kid was being hollered at by, by the umpire. He comes over and, and, and hits the umpire. He gets, of course, he got arrested. But this is the type of stuff's going on. So you, your, your world is growing cold around you. And when AI fully takes its implementation of, of control, it'll be a cold, cold world. Because what is being taken away in this world is the heart. Even the filet of love is being more damaging than it's ever been before. Um, it's now not the love of people as much as the love of things. I, I, I'm watching the uh, Taylor Swift crap, and these little girls, these women, these young women, they are infatuated with this witch, and that's exactly what she has become, a witch. Taylor Swift writes songs, and as a songwriter, I understand the implications of words. 
She writes songs against men. She's a man hater, a man judger. All she wants to do is take men down. And a lot of that is vanity. Yes, Taylor Swift's a very attractive young woman. She's getting fat now. She used to be real thin, she's starting to get fat. But she's a very attractive woman. But when you start seeing the attitudes of these type of people, they aren't attractive from the inside. When her music pops out, what gets me is that people gravitate, these young girls gravitate. What is being instilled in their hearts? To judge and hate men? So Taylor Swift is a, is a product of the destabilization of society. She's just a product of it. And she is helping destabilize society. Helping destabilize. Do you know marriages are down? There have been uh, reports of a uh, 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 wedding gown places closing shop. They're not getting enough orders to stay open. Um, it, it, so the, the, the fabric of what we had made us who we are, our society, is becoming destroyed, becoming distraught. Humanity is growing cold. There is no heart of compassion as much anymore. Everything is based upon what does it do for our side. We want to help, but what do we get out of it? You know, we, 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 uh, where's my plaque? Is my name going to be involved? Or are you going to mention my name? That type of deal. That's all they care about anymore. That's why I've always said I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed to be a human being because the human being population is dying off. What's out there anymore are a bunch of beasts. And um, like I said, if you, if you're, if you're, if you do not want to follow the, the world and its ways, then you need to jump on board and, and get saved if you're not already. And if you are saved, rededicate yourself. Because if you're if you're living according to the world, you could be living. You could be listening to me. You could be a young girl listening to me, and I'm telling you about Taylor Swift, somebody that you love and adore, and you're probably cursing me out right now. So be it. But understand, I I, I often wonder. They're waiting in line all night to get memorabilia of, of Taylor Swift, certain clothes and stuff. And if they, if they could wait in line, it, it, even if Taylor was able to sign it, you know. Here's the thing. If I were to come and tell you I have nails that were in the cross of Jesus, how much money would you sell? Would you, well, you probably pretty much would say, well, they're fake. Probably are. Okay. But you're willing to stay in line pay up to maybe a hundred to two hundred dollars even if it's a scalp to get something that the person probably never touched the person probably never seen and 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 and, and the only thing they're going to get they're going to get they're going to get proceedings they're going to get you know residual earnings from the something that you bought that they never even seen themselves and yet it's supposed to represent the person that you're you see what I'm saying? But yet, you won't buy nails from me that I told you were in the, that, that were in the hands and the feet of Jesus. But yet, you'll buy a piece of shit clothing, a piece of shit plastic, something that somebody signed. And, and even if I were to tell you, I have also the vial of Jesus' blood, you wouldn't want nothing to do with it. But if, you, if I gave you, a, if I were going to sell you a vial of, uh, or, or a piece of uh, uh, Taylor Swift's hair, or maybe a vial of, of her blood, or, or, or a fingernail, you'd pay anything to have it. Do you know how warped and sick that is? You're a bunch of sick puppies out there. And you need salvation. You need, you need, to, get, you need to, to get well from the virus of sin. See, the CDC can't do a thing about the virus of sin. Because they operate in the viruses, and they're, that's all they do is they know viruses. You know, they, you know, you help create something, and you know, you know it. But see, they can't do nothing about sin. They can't do nothing about the nature of sin. They have no concept. They're not advanced enough. They're not intelligent enough. They're a bunch of monkeys. Yeah, you people at the CDC, you're a bunch of monkeys. You don't know nothing about sin nature. Yeah, you know about your biochemical bullshit, but you know nothing about sin nature. 
you can't heal shit when it comes to that. So, or your advice is worthless when it comes to that. So anyway, yeah, I'll probably get kicked off saying that, but I, I'm telling you, you, you have to admit, CDC, you don't know nothing. Ouchie, you don't know nothing about sin. You're, you operate in sin, but you don't know nothing about it. Isn't that funny? You operate it all the time, but you don't know nothing about it. You're in the midst of it and know nothing about it. In that who? In that who? Same with the people from the uh, who organization. You know, now the UN w w want, w wants to decriminalize child abuse, sort of speak. Yeah, yeah. You can have sex with a child. It's okay. From the mouths of the people, the UN, the leaders, 175 countries, probably going to vote it in. Your child's not safe. Hide them away. I always said, get your children out of school, public school. The witches and warlocks are going to take their brains, melt them. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's getting bad. It's getting bad. I'm hearing people saying they want to get out of this country. While, while, while the border is being, is being you know, uh, probably going to, people are trying to come over from, from, from Mexico and other countries, it goes to show you the other countries are destabilizing. The last country that still has some type of, I don't even know what the hell we got, but apparently we're still attractive. But eventually that's going to go away. Especially when people come over here and can't make an actual dollar anymore when the dollar is flatlined. And, 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 and they're not going to want to come over here. They'll be running out of places to run as the world turns into shit. You see? So, you know, I kind of think that we're more of a, instead of a flat earth, we're more, we're more of a, we're, we're, in a, we're right now in a cesspool. We're, 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 we're in a toilet. We're, we're, we're the we're the we're the turd. Our our countries are the turds in the toilet. Okay, basically right now. So yeah, every country is turning into a turd, turning into a big brown piece of crap. And uh, its leaders have always been crap heads. So uh, look at a crap head who's running our country right now. Running. He couldn't run water and for a bath. He'd be in there taking a shower and trying to shake hands with somebody. Grope and sniffs an invisible person. I don't know. I, I just don't understand how people can sit here and think that this guy's got competence. His, his whole side, the whole side don't have competence. Not to mention the other side. They don't, they don't, got, no, they don't got no bootstraps. They, 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 they don't stand up straight. I'm talking about the Republican. They don't stand up straight. They're a bunch of idiots. All they do is have hearings, holler at everybody, but nobody gets anything done. So, anyway, wasting our taxpayer money. You know what we need to stop doing? Stop paying taxes. That, I mean, it, 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 they, they, they don't need any more money. They've gotten so much of, of our money right now. But like I said, you know, between the depopulation, between the fake this and the fake that, and, you know, uh, wait, waiting for the aliens to come. That's the, that's the next thing. They want you to believe in the aliens. The demon spirits, the aliens, yeah. Coming down in their motherships. You know, you've watched the movies, you know what to prepare for, right? Yeah. Bunch of monkeys. Well, anyway, I just thought I'd bring that up, you know. I mean, for all you people who are worshippers of humanity, worshippers of, uh, 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 of the flesh, um, you know, you, you, you worship all your heroes. You worship your football players. You worship the, Aren't they getting soft looking? Football players are so... They wear them suits now. They look like a bunch of faggots. I just can't understand. A bunch of grown men, you know, looking like they get off the field and they got these little bright colored feminine suits on now. It's, it's disgusting. It's just... There's no testosterone in the air no more. They all feely feely little things, you know. But uh, yeah, it's it. The world's getting bad, man. I, I, I really, I am not impressed anymore. There is nothing out there that that gives me any hope in the world. That's what I'm saying. Stop hoping in the world. Stop hoping in your fellow man. Your fellow man's fallen. You're fallen. 
there, there is no hope without God. And you're all trying to pull each other up and you're all keep the, you know, it says, you just think about uh, everybody in quicksand and you're all trying to help each other up. And the more you try to help each other up, you're pushing each other down. That's what's happening in the world. You all are pushing each other down, trying to, trying to build your own selves up. Oh, there's hope in mankind. Oh yeah, mankind's going to get out of this like he's always done. Mankind ain't do shit. Mankind's a joke. That's right. Without God, you're a joke. Without God, you're, a, you're, you're, you're just another beast in the, in the field. So it doesn't matter how handsome you think you are, how pretty you think you are, how rich you think you are, how well off you think you are, how, how, how you know, it doesn't matter. If you are not of God and you do not have the Holy Spirit in you, you are a worthless piece of crap in this world. And you're worthless and you will be spit out of God's mouth. He will not know you. He will not give two craps about you. He will move on. You'll break his heart for a moment. A tear will drop and he'll move on. That'll be it. So, I mean, this is where y'all got to start thinking about. Things aren't going to get any better. They're going to get worse. You better put your hope in the real hope. And you better start having faith. You need the faith. And if you have the Holy Spirit, stop grieving him. Let him rise in you and let him teach you. Let him give you what you need to continue. Let him build you up and you squash your pride. You are nothing. Listen, humanity, you monkeys out there. Without God, you are nothing but flesh and it burns and it fails and you fail. And you burn in your sin. And it doesn't, and, and so as far as I'm concerned, if you don't have God, I, I don't want nothing to do with you. That, that's how I feel. Now, if you want to talk about, and you want to, you know, I, I'll witness to you, but after that, I'm not going to be your buddy, buddy. I don't want to hang with you. I don't like to be around sinful people. I mean, if you're going to act like sin, we're all sinful. I mean, flesh-wise, but I don't want to be around people who act upon it. I stopped acting. I don't want to act upon it anymore. It's, it, it, it brings you nothing. It's, it, it, it's, it's sort of like this. You make your world the way you make it. Instead of adopting what God, a system that God has given us, that would actually make you better, a better person. You would rather push God to the side and everything that God has to offer so you can live in this debasement and live in this muck. Like I said, when it's talking about the Taylor Swift stuff, you're buying memorabilia, memorabilia whatever it is, memorabilia, I can't say the word, you're buying all this plastic, all these things that, you know, that she probably never had touched, but it represents her. Do you understand how ridiculous that is? Like I said, I, I can almost understand if you're somewhere and you, you got an autograph. That, that's nice to get. But if you're going to sit there all night and wait for an autograph, it's like the people who go out and when the, when the iPhones were, were being created, you know, every couple months or every year, a new iPhone. People would wait and have tents out there waiting for the store to open. They can get the first one. I never understood that. I used to, I was like, this is, what the hell is wrong with people? I always thought that. What the hell is wrong with you people? But, um, because this is all they got in the world. See, without God, that's all you got. The new toy. Of, 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 uh, 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 the new flavor of the, uh, of the week. You know, the new style. You know, who's in and who's out. The new movie. Uh, yeah. New car. New dressing. New, new dresses. New, new, new clothes. New shoes. You pay any, any amount of money to get it because everybody else has got it. But then they turn around and tell you to be an individual. There was a commercial years ago, and these kids would be coming up over, there was a bridge, and they show panoramic view of the bridge. And all of a sudden they're talking about, be yourself, be your own. It was a Nike, I know it wasn't Nike, it was a, a, a Levi or some type of com uh, commercial on jeans and clothes and stuff. 
and if all these people, all these young people are coming up over the bridge and they're walking. And they said, be yourself, be an individual. And they're all dressed in almost in the same type of clothes. Think, think about it. They're telling you to be an individual, but yet all the people coming in are buying the same type of clothes, pretty much a little bit different here and there, but the same type of clothes. And they're coming up and telling you to be an individual, be yourself. And yet they're all almost cloned. See the double message. See, see what I'm saying? Even in front of you, they mock you. And yet you don't see it. You don't notice it. Some of the commercials are so undermining um, or, or, or manipulative and insulting. It, some commercials are insulting the things that they, they, they do. You know, these dancing commercials, they're trying to sell a, they're trying to sell some type of a uh, res and they, and, and, and they got, they got chemtrails in the sky and, and they show the thing, or they got the dancers, people selling stuff and they're dancing, da, 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 singing, you know, it's like, you're sitting here like, it, it, it's sort of like watching, watching them old movies with all the dancers and all this stuff. It, it, it's just, it's insulting. And if people gravitate and buy stuff because of these, that means that you have become a monkey. You have become a Neanderthal, the thing you never were in the first place. Um, remember, there is no such thing as evolution. So you, you, you're gravitating into something you never were, and you're allowing your intelligence to just fly out your ears because you, you watch this stuff, you believe this stuff, and it's, like I said, that's why I'm embarrassed sometimes to be a human. Because you people gravitate to the most stupidest shit sometimes that, 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 that is out there. And yet, when it comes down to something that has any meaning, you, 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 don't, you don't want that. You don't want a foundation. You, 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 want, to, you want to be loose as a goose. You, 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 want to, you want to be out there and be willing to, 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 to try anything, right? You, you, got, you, you don't care about morals anymore. You know, what, what, what you think, what, what other people think don't matter anymore. You only care about what yourself thinks, right? That's pride. That's ego. So anyway, sort of like you got your Klaus Schwab, you got all these people in high places making decisions for you, for your future, for your livelihood. And you're sitting here, don't even know about it. Most of y'all don't know what goes on over there in Switzerland. Y'all don't know when they have all these meetings and all the CEOs go over there. They're, they're demising ways of taking your ass out. Y'all work in conjunction together. But yet most of the monkeys out there, they don't know. They don't, they don't see it. They just want the toys. They, they want the trinkets. They, they want to feel important. They want to think that there's hope out there for mankind, through mankind, within mankind. They don't want to believe in God. See, the thing of it is with believing in God, there, there's a catch. You need to be good. You, 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 need, you, need, you need to be a good person. You need to try to be a good person. But that's why a lot of people don't want God, because they, they, want, to, they want to make a decision on what they think is good. Like I said, Satan is turning around everything that God has done. And um, I, I, I sometimes, I, I, it's hard. You try to get in the mind of God, and it's not an easy thing to try to do. I mean, it, it, but trying to wonder how much longer are you looking down upon us grasshoppers and how much longer are you going to allow us to jump around? When we start trying to make our tower a babel again, are you going to destroy it again? Because it's coming. That's what the AI is. The AI is the tower of babel right now. And um, I, 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 I kind of wonder how God is going to handle this. And I know he will. The time is coming. For all of you who do not fear God, you're a fool. I'm going to say that again. If you have no fear in your heart of God in these days, you are a fool. And you shall die a fool. And you will go to hell as a fool. For only the fool in his heart has said that there is no God. 
that's all these monkeys up in high places. That Yava guy, that, that little mini-me of Klaus Schwab. He don't believe in no God. Matter of fact, he thinks he's better than God. What the hell do you think is going to happen to that thing? And that's what he is, a thing. He ain't human. Oh, humans can be hacked. What kind of human says that about other humans? Huh? He's not human anymore. He's probably a clone. Probably a machine himself. Who's to say? I know he's possessed. He's got more demons than, 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 than the man that, that Jesus uh, 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 got, legion out of, out of the, got legion out of him and put him into pigs. These people have triple legion. These people are debased, downright debased. At, at least the guy stayed in a cave biting on himself instead of bothering other people. These people have to mess up with everybody else's lives. They couldn't go in a cave themselves. And, no. They, they, their whole purpose is to mess your life up and to mess with me. They won't leave us alone. They want to control us. As long as we, as long as we breathe breath on this planet, on this, on this flat plane that we live on, they're going to keep manipulating. They're going to keep doing the shit they're going to do. And they're going to keep trying every way they possibly can to weaken you or kill you. So, you know, y'all can sit here and say that I'm just a, I'm just a, a, a Debbie Downer, right? Oh, you just so negative, Derby Jack, blah, blah. No, I'm a realist. You're the people who are negative. You're negative against God. I'm not the negative one. I'm the one trying to warn you. I am, I am, I am, the, I, I am the preacher on the side. I'm the one with a hearkening voice trying to tell you, listen, wake up. Smell the stench of your dying world around you. And many of you don't want to hear. Many of you are doubters. Many of you are the tinfoil who, who, who just want to say something against me because you don't want to admit your failures. Many of you out there think that people like me are a joke. Oh, you're so religious. I'm not religious. That, that's the one thing. Don't confuse me with religion. A religious person. I am not a religious person. I'm a person who's filled, who's filled with the Holy Spirit. There is a difference. Yes, I do read my Bible and I do, I, do, I do pray, but I am not religious. Religious is a word that is not spiritual anymore. It is, but it's on the negative. <clears throat> and it's repetitiveness of, of doing things. And so it's a matter of what man does, the movements of man. And it isn't that. It's supposed to be man is moved by the movements of God. When you are moved in the Holy Spirit by God, that's when you move. But when you're doing it on your own, every move that you're making and everything that you're doing, more than likely is doing, going against God and his will. So that would be the thing to think about today. Whose will are you in? Are you in the will of yourself? Are you in the will of the world? Or are you in the will of God? These are three important areas you need to know about yourself. Because if you don't know it by now, you probably will never know it. Derby Jack out. See you all on the other side.